Hello everybody, this is EY Stream, and welcome to another episode of the Kingdom SMP. Now, today we are going to be doing some really, really cool stuff, and I have found something which I think you guys will be pretty excited about. So let's go ahead, and before we get right into the video, guys, today, let's see whether we can hit 3... 100 likes on this video today, so let's go ahead, smash that like button, absolutely go ham and cheese on it, go crazy on it, just blow up on it, become a creeper, walk up to that like button and just go boom, we're gonna make that like button go blue today guys, so make sure to go ahead and try and hit 300 likes, I know you guys can do it, and if you do, I will be adding some people from the comments below to the realm, so make sure to leave your gamer tag below after liking and subscribing, so without further ado, let's get into today's episode, alright. So as you can see, I am back on my Windows 10 PC now. If you don't know what Windows 10 is, it's basically Minecraft Pocket Edition on a computer. So basically, I can use a mouse and I can use a keyboard, which makes things really, really easy to record for you guys because, you know, these are quite long episodes. So once again, this is basically Minecraft Pocket Edition just on a computer. So don't think, wait, he's playing Minecraft PC. What? The world is coming to an end. Ah! But no, it's okay, guys. I am using uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. See, look, I can bring my finger up to the screen here, and you can see I've got all the Minecraft Pocket Edition controls on the screen here, as you can see. So yes, it is Minecraft Pocket Edition, but for now, I'm going to use a mouse, because that is a whole ton easier. Anyway, so, for those of you who were worried about Milo last week, um, Milo did respawn, but um, what's really weird about this is she actually changed colour. And I'm not sure what happened here. I think she went from like a dark brown to a much lighter brown. But it's all good because Milo is in good hands here, as you can see, looking very nice. At least we found her, and that's all good. And as you can see, I've used a lead and chucked her onto this fence post. So she is now safe from the despawn bug. So yeah, that's really, really good. We've got uh, Milo safe and sound. Now today, I want to show you something really cool. Uh, so, here we are in our amazing house. I cannot say, I really love this house, I have to say, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother not bragging. I love it. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead, jump down to the lab here. Alright, down we come. Now, as you can see, it's very nice, but I've added a new section. So, upon all of this cool fancy stuff, I've added this new section. That's because I was actually looking uh, underneath the lab to go ahead and see whether I could expand it any further. And I actually found, if we come down here, and I'll just jump into this water puddle here, I actually found a mob spawner, as you can see here. It is a skeleton mob spawner, and I've chucked some... Uh, Oh, hello. Hello, my dear friend. How are you going? <laughs> I've chucked some torches on it to try and stop as much of the spawning as possible for now, and I've already taken out the loot, so yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, ooh. I must have dug this up last time I was down. So anyway, yeah, I found this, um... I found this mob spawner down here, and I was like, sweet, now we can make a mob spawner, and it's like right under the lab, so I'll be able to just come down here really, really easily. And as you can see, right under here, I believe, if I go ahead, switch over to this one, under here, we have uh, a cave system as well, so that is all really, really cool. And yeah, so we have a mob spawner. Now, I've never actually made, so I'm thinking of making like a mob grinder, so not only is it for XP, but I also want to get uh, loot from it, so I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to make one where there's water and the mob spawn in the water and come down, hit some lava, and that kills the mob and then drops some items in a, uh, hoppers and then into chests. Or, whether I want to make it that the mobs just come out and then we kill them ourselves, which would mean we get XP. So I'm thinking that we're going to go with the kill it ourselves option, because not only do we get XP, but we also get mob drops. But then again, I don't want to always be there, so maybe we might have two options. On this side we'll have the lava thing, and on this side we'll have the kill it yourself and I'll be able to turn the lava one off when I want to. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I might not be able to get it all done this episode, but we're going to give it a go. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and close the door off here. We're going to need a few things. Now, I have to be honest, I have not made a mob grinder slash XP farm in ages, like literally forever, and my mob farm may be a little unorthodox because it's not... <laughs> it's. I'm just going to be trying to... Th going off by my imagination, guys. I'm not using anything I've previously used. Like, it's not... Uh, special design that I use every time. I'm just going to be making it up as we go along, so I'm curious to see how this comes out. So, what we're going to need is we're probably going to need some hoppers, so let me jump over and jump over to here. We're going to grab some of the iron here. Oh, I've already got iron in my inventory. All good, all good. And then we're going to go ahead and... Alright, then we're going to come over to the crafting table. So, to make a hopper, let's come over here. I'm not 100% sure. 
So I'm just gonna have a look. Where are you, Hopper? Hopper, 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 Hopper. I cannot actually see the Hopper here. Where are you, my friend? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. We need a chest. Of course we need a chest. What am I thinking? All right. So I don't have any wood. Let's check up here. Where would do I keep my wood? Here we go. Let's go ahead, grab some of this wood, chuck it into our chest. All right, there we go. And then we can go ahead and make a hopper. So I'm thinking we're going to need maybe, I'm going to make at least three hoppers for now. So bam, bam, like so, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead, come right to here. Oh, we probably should make sure I've got everything. I'm going to need some chests, obviously. Uh, so we're going to make some more of those. I'm running out of wood here, guys. I might need to go, uh, oh, what am I talking about? I've got 48 chests here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why I have that many chests, but okay, that's all good. Um, we're gonna need some lava buckets. I don't know whether I have any of those, like, on hand. I got one lava bucket. I'm going to need more than one lava bucket. So what we're gonna do is we are going to jump down to the mine here, and I also want to get some water buckets, of course. So where is the water? Where's the water? Here we go. Um, I'm worried I'm not gonna get enough water or enough lava, but... We'll take the risk. Will we Will we take the risk? I don't know. I think we will. We will take the risk. So let me go ahead. Bam. Down we go. Let's jump straight into the mine and grab some lava for us to use. Here we go. And whoop. It's been a while since I've been down here. Anyway, let's come up. And I believe this is where the lava pool is. Correct, Amundo. Uh, we're going to need to grab our buckets here. And down we come. Down we come. Alright, and we'll grab some of this lava, all good, all good, and then we're gonna just jump back up and we can start on this mob farm. I'm super, super excited, guys, but you're not allowed to judge my mob farm skills because, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just, just, uh, to let you know there, guys, I honestly have no clue. Alright, so we're actually going to need a few ladders now that I'm thinking of it, because, you know, we're going up the ladder here, beats to stop the lava so it doesn't you know, completely uh, burn all of our loot. So if I come up here, we are going to need to grab... Up we come, up we come. I am going to need to go ahead and grab some ladders from upstairs. So up we go. Bam. And uh, which one is the ladders in? It's been a while. So, all right, there we go. Grab those ladders and let's head back down once again. Oh, nope, I do not want to use my bow. Grab that. All right, and then we'll jump down. Whoop, and down we come. Alright guys, so now we are down here. Um, how are we going to do this? I'm honestly not 100% sure. So I'm thinking we have a water thing here. Mob spawn, fall in the water, come down here, get burnt by the lava, and then we're good to go from there. So I'm going to dig out this, like so. Alright, alright. Then I'm going to get two water buckets. So what I want to do is make an infinite water supply just because uh, I don't want to run out of water here. So bang. All right. Good, good, good. Now we have an infinite water supply. I can chuck some water here. Now I don't... I think it goes eight blocks. Oh my gosh. Perfect, guys. That is exactly the right amount we needed to come. All right, that's looking really good. So what I'm hoping will happen is the mobs will spawn, fall into the water, come down here, and then we need them to hit some lava, which is the next bit, which I'm not 100% sure how we're going to pull off. I'm actually going to bring this forward just one because I want it to come out so we can grab the loot. So if I go ahead and refill this in. All right. And what we're going to do is... Oh, but if they fall in, I don't want them to fall, come out. So we're actually... Let's make another modification, guys, because if this is too if this is too shallow, they're just going to jump out, and we do not want that, because then nothing's going to come to us, and that would be a problem. So let's go ahead, grab that. All right, so two blocks. They shouldn't be able to jump up, hopefully, unless skeletons have somehow evolved last time I played Minecraft. Um, so let's go ahead, grab, and then we'll grab one of these. The only problem here is that uh, the item's all the way down here, and we might need to make an item elevator to bring it up. But I haven't made one of those in a while, and I'm not 100% sure how to do that, so I might have to do that. I might have to search up the tutorial, I know, right, guys? Ewi stream the YouTuber trying to search up tutorials on Minecraft, but eh. Sometimes, we need to learn somewhere. Alright, so the mobs will fall into here. Now, we need them to hit lava so that they die. Alright, so, we need the lava not to fall down. So, if I chuck a ladder here, a 
a ladder here, and a ladder here, and a ladder here. Then what I'm going to do is check some lava. Alright, yep, that's exactly what I want. And one... Oh, nope! Oh. Alright, so basically what will happen is a mob will fall into the water here. Then the head will hit the lava, it will die, and its mob drops will fall down here, as you can see. Uh, and that will hopefully work really, really well once I've, you know, figured out the kinks and stuff. So as you can see, the mob will fall down there. Should be all good to go. Oh, no, we don't want to fall in there. We don't want to fall in there. Out we get. How we get. All right, so now that that's built in, uh, we're going to need to come around onto this side. Uh, grab our fortune pickaxe. Actually, we're going to use our silk touch pickaxe here. Here is the lava, so we don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to keep that like so. Oh, we better put up a torch because I'm not going to be able to see. All right, grab and chuck that torch up. Alright, so we're going to come down here. Now, I don't want to have to really come down here every time to collect the loot. So, I kind of want to make an item elevator, to be honest. So, this is... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad. Alright, let's come down under here. And I believe... Yeah, okay, this is where the water hits. Ooh, I need to have a quick look at how this design works. <laughs> Just to be 100% sure. So it hits there. Uh, now what we needed to do... Oh, that was getting way too close to the lava. Way too close. We need to get rid of that. Oh, so I got rid of the fence posts, which was stopping it from coming through. That makes more sense now. Alright, I'm going to put this here just to kind of stop the water flow so we can set up everything without it being too much of an issue. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad idea. That was a bad idea. If that was ever a bad idea, it was that. So I'm actually going to chuck these... Collect the lava up again and re-put in these fence posts because clearly I was an idiot and got rid of them, which was seriously a problem. <laughs> All right, and we'll chuck those in, and then our lava like so. All right, that's looking really, really good. Now we're gonna come back down under here. All right. Oh, there's the lava right there. So what we need to do is the mob dies. Okay, and then it falls. So. How are we going to do this? I reckon we need to set up two hoppers here. But I want to make an item elevator, but I can't remember how, guys. How do I make an item elevator? I'm going to go ahead and check up a quick tutorial on the internet. I know, right? Oh, that's crazy. Anyway, I'll be right back, guys, right after I figure out how to make an item elevator so we can bring the items up to here so I don't have to come all the way down here every single time. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, guys, so I had a quick search up on the internet. By the way... It was really simple, and I feel really, really noobish now that I don't know how to... I didn't know how to do that, and I feel really newbie. But whatever, you know, everybody makes mistakes sometimes. Everybody needs some help from the amazing internet. So I just went up, searched a quick tutorial on item elevators, came out with Mumbo Jumbo. If you haven't checked him out and you love redstone, seriously, you need to go check him out. He is your one-stop shop for all redstone uh, devices and whatnot. He's an amazing YouTuber, so go check him out. Now, the item elevator is a little bit complicated, but it sh I think, I think, I think, I think I've got it down pat. So, let's go ahead. We're going to dig up these hoppers. I need this one to, so I need it to come into this side. So, if I go ahead, I'm going to grab that. We're going to need a hopper facing into this block. Then, we need a hopper kind of facing, oh, how, I don't know how I am going to do this, to be honest, because, ooh, ooh, this is hard. We're going to need hoppers coming around here on the side. Ooh, that's a little hard. That's a little hard because what I need to do is to build the item elevator. If we chuck these... Oh, no. What? What? Oh, these are... No, I hate these things. Where are you, little bugger? Because I am going to kill you. Well, actually, we should probably deal with this water source issue. So let's go ahead. Uh, I better f I'm just going to fill these up because we've used all the water we need. So if we just... Die. All right. There we go. All right, there we go. And where is this little bugger? Hello. And we're just going to say goodbye to you. And then we're going to go ahead and dig this one up. I think this, yep, this one's also one of these little annoying silverfish uh, stones there. All right, so what we're going to need to do is basically the item ve item ve uh, item ve ve <laughs> item elevator. Oh, no, this is another one of those annoying little things. Go away, go away, silverfish. Um, we're going to need some droppers to go ahead and push the items upwards. So let's go ahead and come up. And I actually don't know the crafting recipe for droppers, so we're just going to go ahead. Uh, I'm assuming they can. I'm assuming they need iron. So we'll come into here. 
Dropper, 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 dropper. Where's the droppers? Here we go. One dropper. Okay, so it just requires stone and redstone. That is a really cheap crafting recipe. So I think we're going to need maybe four or five. So we'll just craft a few of those. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I do not have enough stone. Let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone here. Like so. And then we're just going to go ahead and make a few more of those droppers. And I think that's enough. Oh, no. Where, where, where we go? I shouldn't have closed this because it takes forever to come down. All right, there we go. Down we come. Oh, there's no water source there to jump down to anymore. Alright, down we come. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is go ahead and place the hoppers facing upwards like so from memory. From memory. Alright, and that should come up. And then obviously we want this to come up into some sort of chest or something. I haven't really figured that out. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. Now what we need to do is have uh, some sort of redstone circuit, which really confuses me. So, uh, no, we're going to need to bring these one more back because we're not going to have enough room for the redstone circuit to function correctly. So if we bring that, uh, I'm just going to put it here, just like, oh, hello zombies, how are you going to death? Are you kidding me? Come on guys, leave me alone, let me, let me finish my mob farm. Let me finish my mob farm, seriously. Alright, and we're just going to kind of place that there. And then I am going to bring the droppers up like so. Alright. Then we've got plenty of room for any redstone that needs to be done. So, what we're going to need is comparators, redstone repeaters, and all this jazz that I should have probably gotten when I was upstairs. Ah, <sighs> My memory is horrible, guys. Alright. Up we come for like the second or third time today. Here we come. And chuck. Up we go. So we're going to need to grab uh, just a few redstone gizmos here. So we're going to need some torches. We're going to need about, I think, a few comparators. We're going to need some of these. We are going to need an immovable block. So I've got... Oh, no, we're not going to need an immovable block. We just need a normal block. And I believe that's all. And, of course, I've already got some redstone in my inventory. So that's all we should need. Chuck the stick in. Down we go. All right. And round we come. All right. Hopefully, I haven't forgotten anything this time around. Because otherwise, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be seriously annoyed. So let's go ahead. Chuck the redstone stuff into my inventory here. Alright, so, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need a redstone comparator coming out on subtract. Then we're going to need a redstone repeater oop, going into a block here. Then we're going to need redstone coming around the outside like so. Then we're going to need another, we're going to need another repeater here. And then, I believe, redstone going straight back in. So, I'm not sure what that does. I think what happens is, is we chuck this in. And as you can see, it starts off a redstone clock here. So that's what we need first step. Then we're going to need to come round and what's the, what's the next step? Um, 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 um. Then we're going to need to do this and then a redstone repeater. Actually, no, wait. We're going to need to go ahead and put a redstone torch on this side going into a repeater here, which then goes into a block. And then we're going to start our repeater tower here. So let's go ahead. I'll have to dig up like so. And basically what this is, is we've got a redstone torch on one side. Then we're going to go ahead and grab some more stone here. Then we'll chuck this on top. And this is basically a tower here that will turn on and off to allow this to work. So hopefully, hopefully this works. I'm not 100% sure because this is untested by me. Let's go ahead and like so. And then we're going to bring this up. And that should be our item tower. So, let's see whether this works. We'll chuck an item here at the bottom. It starts off our redstone signal clock. And if we come up to the top, and... Well, it's not in the bottom. It's not there. It's not there. Where'd it go? Where did it go? All right. It pops out the top. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm that newbie to forget such a simple, simple thing. So now what we actually wanted to do is pop up. I don't know whether you can put it straight into a chest. We'll find out here. Uh, Alright, so let's test this. Does its redstone stuff. And yeah, it pops straight up into the chest. How cool is that, guys? That's actually legitimately awesome. I love item elevators now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab the axe. Because I just realized I do want to bring this... Uh, ooh, but then I have to... Ooh. Wait, can I place this here? And then get rid of this and will it still work? That is the question. Yep, it'll work just fine. Sweet. All right, this is a really, really, really cool system. Then we can go ahead and chuck some chests here. 
and we're good to go. There is our item chest. Sweet. All right. Um, no, that's really annoying my OCD. We got to use the same stone as the rest of the walls. I might have to switch these out for stone bricks later on, but for now, that's how we're going to leave it. All right. So now we have the item elevator down. Now we need the items to get from here into the first dropper. So the way we're going to do that, I reckon, is we're just going to use a bunch of hoppers here. I think that's probably our best bet. Now, I don't know know whether hoppers get affected too much by redstone so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keep it decently away from the redstone here and we'll have it coming around the outside like so all right that is looking good we're going to need quite a few more hoppers so i'm going to jump upstairs and do that and grab some of those all right this time we're going up for a legitimate reason because getting these hoppers was not on my to-do list today so let's come right up and up we come and up all right, so we had 43 chests there, so we shouldn't need to craft any new ones. So let's go ahead. Oh, 45 chests. Nice, nice, nice. Then we're going to go ahead and... What, what was the next thing we need? We need iron, I believe it is, for these hoppers. All right. Now, I don't... Do I actually have any hoppers? I really should check here. Oh, I have 26 hoppers. Luckily, I was paying attention because otherwise I would have just crafted a whole ton of new hoppers and wasted all that iron and all those chests. I mean, thank goodness... I checked to full hoppers because 29 hoppers, that is crazy. I don't even know why I made that many. Probably because I expected I was going to need way more for the automatic uh, brewing stand we made earlier. Um, when I was making that, I was like, well, there's just going to be a whole ton of items going everywhere. I'm probably going to need a lot of resources. So as you can see, it's going to hit the lava here. Now, how are we going to do this? What I want to do is do something a little, uh, just a little fancy here. Not super fancy. We're going to do this. Then it's going to hit some water and then we're going to have it all right we're going to get a stop here all right so what we're going to do is then the water is going to oh uh, what are we going to do here what have i done what have i done all right there we go the water comes here so what will happen is is the mob will hit here die the item will fall into here fall into the water which then stops there which then falls into this hopper holy moly this is a complicated system but we need this item to be facing into the block so let's come right over to here where we were earlier and we're going to need these hoppers to face into one another here. So let me grab this. And we'll chuck a hopper there and a hopper here. And I'm just going to cover up all of these hoppers here so nothing random falls into them. That would be pretty good because, you know, there are some, that's a cave system. And I don't really want a bunch of random stuff jumping into my hoppers and coming up my item elevator. All right. And then we'll do that. I don't need that hopper. And then we'll come around here. Ah one there oh we got ourselves in a little bit of a tr snap here and how are we going to do this i don't really know oh this this is going to be a little bit of a challenge i think we're just going to come around here yeah that's what we're going to do all right so hopefully if this works something will hit there die fall into the item hoppers it will jump into there starting off the item elevator which will chuck it up to the chest this is a really cool system i have to be honest here and i kind of want to showcase it so what we're going to do is i am going to fill the floor in with glass just to show how cool this system is um actually no i'm just going to use this bit here oh look at that something already ha oh that's because i was dropping items into the droppers there all right so what i want to do is to sh oh no i can't dang it no dang it ah oh. all right we need to chuck that there then a redstone torch on this side and we're going to ah oh, i should not have dug that up and then we're going to need to chuck that there and that there and i believe that's all yep 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 all right now the question is do i showcase this or do i cover it up i think it looks pretty cool if i cover it up because it's like what it just magically happens as if it's magic. So I reckon we're going to leave it covered up now that I think about it. Uh, I am going to make a crafting table down here finally. Oh, but I do not have enough wood. I need to make torches though because I don't want mobs spawning down here and breaking the redstone. Or, you know, mobs falling down here and not actually dying. Which reminds me to stop not actually dying from happening. I'm going to cover that wall up. Then I'm going to cover this up. Alright, that should, should, should work. Alright, so what we're going to do is just to test this out is we're going to dig this up finally. All right, there we go. Then we're going to chuck an item into here. That should fall down into the hoppers there. And we'll leave that for a bit. Now what I need to do is to stop the light from coming out as much as possible from that lava because um, I just realized that uh, the lava can be seen by mobs and that is going to stop them from spawning. 
which is a small issue, but uh, yeah. Alright, actually, ooh, that, that is a problem. The lava can be seen by mobs, and that creates issues. I'll have to figure out a way to fix that, uh, but for now, I'm just going to jump off this. Alright, oh, it doesn't seem to be an issue because there are skeletons spawning. Close the door, close the door. Alright, so if we jump in here, yep, the stone came straight back up. That's really, really good. That shows that the system is working, and hopefully, I'm hoping that this will work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a sword here. I'm going to chuck one of you guys down into the water here. If you would just, just jump into the water, that'd be much appreciated. Just nudge, nudge. Alright, good. Oh, come on, you fell on that bit. We just need you to... Just go down. Go down, dude. Just... Go down. Ah! Alright, we'll push you in. Push you in. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, so, yeah. There we go. We need a... Guys, chill. Alright, so the... Yep. Hopefully, yep. Just wait. Yep, it dies and the drops fall in. That is really, really good. I'm really happy with the way that works. But, uh, we need to get out of here because I'm telling you, it is dangerous in here. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh, there's lava! There's lava! Holy moly! Holy moly! We need to get out of here fast. My armor is not holding up. Out we go. Out we go. Free! Holy moly! We almost died. Oh my gosh. Alright, so as you can see, the loot is filling up here. So that's really good. We got the bones and the arrows coming out of here, so I'm not going to have to craft any new arrows. We're going to have tons of bone meal. This is really, really great. I'm really happy that this worked. And I'm very happy that we are still alive. Holy moly, that was dangerous as hell. My armor's not taking too much damage, which is good. But I did leave a block in here, which needs to go. Goodbye. Alright, so yeah. This mob farm is definitely working. Now what we're going to do... Uh, what I want to do is kind of fill this in with glass, but then we have the problem of we can't have lights in this room. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do there. Firstly, I'm going to cover this up. That is the first thing I'm going to do. And yeah, so it comes into here. Now, I don't think this is going to be enough chests because I kind of want this to keep going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And then we're going to... Oh, no. I feel... I just feel as if there are the dangerous types of mobs down here. Alright, really good looking. Chuck up a torch here. Alright, so yeah, things are definitely spawning in there. It definitely works really well. I'm really happy. I am actually legitimately really happy on how that turned out. So what we're going to need to do is from this chest, we want it to come onto these chests, this chest here. And that should expand the amount of space we have. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to do this. Now, we're going to need to grab one of these guys. And bam. Like so. I don't think that works though. No, I don't think that works. Oh my gosh, I am such a noob. How, how am I going to get this to work is the question here. It's a very good question. I don't know. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll have to figure out a solution later on uh, to go ahead and definitely add some more storage space. Because I reckon that having this going 24-7, um, we're going to rack up a lot of items very, very quickly. Because this is a very effective uh, station here. I'm, I am legitimately did not think that this design I made up on my own was going to work this well. Besides for the item elevator. That I have to credit to Mumbo Jumbo. But yeah, this, this is really, really cool. I'm actually really happy with the way this turned out. So... Now that we've done this, I kind of, uh, I kind of want to showcase the mobs dying, so I want to put, like, some, oh, well, the lava should light up this room pretty well. If I get rid of the torches here, we've got some light coming from up here. I think it actually is completely fine if we go ahead and put some glass there. So, let's go up and put some final touches on our mob spawner today, and then, then we're going to call it the end of this episode. But anyway, yeah, this is coming, this is coming along really well. Now, I'm not sure whether I kind of want to decorate it down there. I kind of like the idea that it's all stone and I haven't done anything to the walls or the roof or anything. Wait, where? What was I coming up for? Um, well, kind of I want to switch the door out for iron just because I don't want it to break on me. So if we go switch out the door for iron there, we're going to need a lever to open that. And then I want some glass. So let's go ahead and grab some glass here. Yeah, I don't have a lot of glass blocks. I have a lot of glass panes. Uh, I, I think this will be enough, but we'll grab some glass planes just in case. So let me go ahead, chuck the wood in there, and grab these glass planes. Alright, there we go, and we'll chuck that down into there. Down we come. Alright, finally, let's put the 
finishing touches on here. I kind of want, the reason why I made this three is to have a ladder down here, but now we have the chest here, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do about that. Clearly, I was not thinking very well when I planned this out. Uh, what I want to do is actually put a slime a slime launcher here and blast us back up there. I don't know whether that'll work, but you know what? We can, we can definitely experiment here and there. All right, so final touches. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to chuck some glass in here. So firstly, and then we'll chuck the glass there. And like so. Alright, so now we can make sure that the system is always working just fine by watching the mobs fall straight in there. And then watch this. They die. And the items fall down. Go through the item hopper and pop out here, which I think is really cool that we can watch this process happening without... Without, you know, without having to do any work. We don't actually have to go in there and kill these poor guys ourselves. Which I think is really, really cool. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bust down this door just because I don't want them breaking the door. So if we do that, because I don't want any, like, zombies and whatnot also breaking the door, which would be pretty bad. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put a door on this side here. Alright. Now. Oh. No. Alright. No. Alright. Good. And then we're going to go ahead and chuck a lever there just for when we need to do repairs on this system here, but you know, at the moment, I think it works really, really well. What I want to do, actually, as well, is kind of put... I don't know whether they'll see me then. See, if they're here, they come towards me, but then I don't want them to shoot me either. But that way works really well if I come down here, but you know what? We're not going to be down here super often, so I'm just going to leave it like so. I'm going to put some glass up here as well. Alright. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. I'm really happy with that. Alright, so guys, so we have made an automatic XP, well, it's not really an XP farm, we've made an automatic mob farm here, which does automatically give us the loot straight into the chest here through this item elevator, which I think, I personally think is absolutely amazing, looks really, really cool. I want to kind of decorate this area now that I am thinking about it, kind of make it look a little, little nicer and not just boring old stone, but we're going to do, I'm probably going to do that in my own time before the next episode. So yeah, this kind of brings us to the end of today's episode. If you did enjoy today's video, uh, make sure to go ahead and drop a like on this video. That would be much appreciated, guys. Once again, we're going to try and hit 300 likes, and if we do, I'll be adding some people to the realm. So, without further ado, that brings us to the end of the video. Subscribe for more epic Minecraft Pocket Edition content, such as seeds, maps, mods, reviews, and of course, the Kingdom SMP. And until next time, guys, EOS, you're out. Bye.